afternoon, parents, teachers and staff, friends and family, and of course, my fellow Chimicum Cowboys, the graduating class of 2021. Yeehaw, am I right, guys? Okay. Um, I have never subscribed to the belief that high school is the best years of our lives, but I'm sure we've all heard it. Best years or not, we've spent much of our lives anticipating these moments, watching High School Musical and every other Disney Channel original and dreaming of our own senior year, friendships, dances, graduation. So who can blame us for feeling hurt, disappointed, even betrayed when the time finally rolls around and it's nothing like we expected? I'm sorry for you. I can't stand back and tell you that this doesn't matter, that it's just high school and we need to move on because I felt the same heartbreak that I'm sure many of you did when I sat and thought over all of the milestones and moments, big and small, that I will never get to truly experience. This year of isolation and fear for our safety and loved, one, loved ones has gone by and taken all of these memories that could have been with it for reasons completely out of our control. There is no going back to change it. So where do we go from here? First, we must recognize where we are now and where we have been. It is okay to let yourself feel this pain. You deserve the time to mourn for any unrealized expectations and time that may have felt wasted or stolen when you've been told all of your life that it should be great. Not to mention all of our other individual hardships throughout this time, many of which may make us feel silly for grieving something so insignificant as the events of our senior year of high school. Pain, however, is entirely relative, choosing a unique way to torment each and every one of us. And in that same vein, we will each have our own distinct process of responding, feeling, and moving forward from the pain that inevitably makes its way into our lives. You are not broken. You are not foolish. And above all, you are not alone. National Youth Poet Laureate Amanda Gorman said, for it's our grief that gives us our gratitude, shows us how to find hope if we ever lose it. So ensure that this ache wasn't endured in vain. Do not ignore the pain. Give it purpose. Use it. Whatever hurt this tumultuous year and any years past may have caused you, acknowledge it. Feel it and embrace the strength and courage that got you through it because life is going to continue on and it is never too late to begin to climb upward. I'm not telling you that the future will be all together without misfortune. This journey is by mo no means linear. But what part of life is? And wouldn't that be exhausting anyway? It is these peaks and valleys that give life nuance and interest. So savor them and know that the low points are temporary. I know for a fact that the strength required to begin this upward climb is present in all of you here today, because look at where you are right now. You're here at this finish line in spite of an unreasonable abundance of obstacles standing in the way of an already wildly strenuous task. 13 years of learning, working, all the while discovering ourselves and dealing with the struggles of growing up. Then, just when we were ready to rush through our final stretch, everything changed. This sudden change brought with it a multitude of challenges, but no matter how difficult, we fought, endured, and persisted in spite of everything life had to throw at us. For not only this, but everything you've accomplished in these last 13 years, I urge you to take this time to recognize and celebrate yourself, your experiences, your achievements, the incredible future ahead of you. We deserve it. Thank you.